Hey, what's going on? Charlie here. I'm Jean. Uh, welcome back and welcome to uh, our first uh, bottling, um, corking, tasting, tasting of our own barrel. Multicasters, multicasting's own barrel aged whiskey. Uh, two weeks of gum, two weeks of past. And we are going to try with you at the same time mm -hmm. to see if this is uh, worth its weight in gold or if we just wasted $50 on new make whiskey. Well, it may not be ready yet. Uh, may not, yeah, may not. We're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. We've been agitating this on a daily basis, mm -hmm. rotating it, yep. making sure we're getting that. Give it that, a little shake. Give it a little, a little shake. Mm -hmm. A little shake. Just to make sure we're getting uh, the entire barrel evenly uh, used. So we've been trying that. Uh, are you ready, Jean? I am ready. To give this bad boy a whirl? Yes. Okay, now let's do this. We'll do this on camera. How, how do we want to do this? Oh, first of all, I gotta remove this. All right, so I'll hold that up for you if you want to turn it. Okay. Just give yourself just a skosh. And I'll too will have a skosh. The color is already. It's, it's brown. Something. It's It looks like a orange. Um, first impression is orange Gatorade. Look how dark that is. Look at that. Now, if you don't remember, we're using the, uh, we use the Buffalo Trace White Dog. Mash one. Uh-huh. It's been sitting in here for two weeks, like Charlie just said. Mm -hmm. Um, I am surprised that it is this pretty color already. No kidding. Yeah, it went in 14 days from clear to a nice tangerine, not tangerine, it's a nice orange. Yeah, it, it looks like a bourbon to me. I mean, already it just has that pretty caramel color. It does. It is actually, I would say that's more of a bourbon barrel color because the bourbon barrels, the blends, the New Year's rolls. I just said bourbon. Bourbon barrel. Mm -hmm. Barrel bourbon. Oh, you're talking about the barrel. Okay. Yeah, barrel bourbon. It's a brand right here. Barrel bourbon. <coughs> yeah, it comes off the same, same type of orange. Uh, this is to be legal for the TTF, who they um, are the they are the legal authority of all things whiskey in America. Uh, you have to be 62.5 going into the barrel to call yourself a bourbon. This is 62.5. We getting on the nose there, Jean? It's I get uh, it still smells young. Um, yeah. It's it. I'm, I was kind of hopeful looking at the color of it. I was uh, kind of excited to get it on the nose, but um, it's a little disappointing still on the nose. Well, it wasn't disappointing last time. It was just, it's, it's new make. Right. But, I mean, as far as what I was kind of hoping I would get. The, the the sweetness that it gives you, why? I'm getting more vanilla now than I did last time. Um, it is really sweet on the nose. Yeah. It's like it's like a candy. Mm -hmm. It's dessert candy. Um, but I, I do get a vanilla now that I wasn't necessarily getting before. It's more of a matured vanilla. In the nose now, I'm very happy with the amount that you can put in our glasses. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. Yeah, I put more in yours than I did mine. Now, when we did the first video on this, this is video number two in this series, and we're going to keep going until it's aged to our profile that we like it. And it may never get to that, but I'm hopeful. Now, we got a comment from Mark on that. He said to be careful that you don't have to sit too long, because in his experience, it comes out like straight charcoal at some point. Hopefully that doesn't happen really? to us. Yeah. If you have done this before, if you've made a barrel, if you've aged your own whiskey in a barrel, be it a legit 53 gallon or in a mini two liter like what we're doing, let us know down in the comments how it turned out for you. I, I get nail polish removal. So, Remover. So acetone? Yeah. I, I guess. I guess that's what it is. It's just real I mean, I would have to nose this for probably get 15, 20 minutes to get any nuances because it's so strong yeah. with sweetness. Well, I guess I'm going to have a go in. Have a go in. How's it going for you? Hmm. Actually, I am surprised. I ha I can taste the barrel char. I can taste the char. It's not off-putting though. Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. um, huh. I think it needs to be in there for a little longer, certainly. Yeah. But um, I'm, I think I'm pleased with how it's coming along. Yeah, for two weeks, it's got a nice color. I'm, I'm guessing this is going to have a hugely rich brown color by the time we pull, call it quits with it. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But you get, you get, you get the char. There, there's a is a tang in there that wasn't there originally. Oh, yeah. There's a bit like it's trying to mature. It's on the back of my tongue, mm -hmm. and it's just hanging it out. It is. It is. The aftertaste. Barrel char forefront. But you're right, on the back of the tongue, it's just sitting there, like, sitting it's there. Sitting there, just having a party, saying, hey. Let's see, name me, what am I, what am I, what am I? You're a tangy fang. I'm tangy. Yeah, what up, tang? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I don't mind it. <laughs> it's some tang. Dad jokes by Gene. <laughs> it's, like, it's like Deep Thoughts uh, by Jack Handy. Any who. Any, some tang. It's some tang. It's some tang. You're some tang. I am. Yeah. yeah. So uh, for 14 uh, days, I'm I'm a, I'm night. I'm good with the results. Mm -hmm. Mark had me worried like this is not this is gonna be real. This is good. This is gonna suck. But no, I'm for 14 days. I'm I'm happy with it. Yeah. Uh, so we'll come back in another 14 days. Do it. No, did you, you want to add water to see if that does anything? Uh, might as well. We got it here. Okay. Let's see. So yeah, we'll cut. Well, so I mean, with a drop of water. I think I'm gonna open it up. A lot. Okay. I'm gonna put two drops in there. Okay, two drops. And uh, I'm curious on how. I actually don't think this is gonna change a ton um, in our glass because we didn't have this full. It still has air to it. Right. That's true. So I think this is gonna age a little bit differently. Next time we do it, though, we're gonna fill it to the brim if this works well. I, I did get. Um, did you say you had orange on the nose before? No, I said that was the color. Orange zest a little bit. Yeah, you're right. Um, it's orange zest, but it's the uh, orange zest from the, the little, the, they look like little slices of orange, but they're covered in sugar. Oh, I haven't had one of those in a long time. You used to have a ton of those when I was a kid. Yeah, they're like the, the orange slice candy. Yeah, orange slice candy, yeah. I like it a lot better with the water, oh my goodness. Mm. That tastes like a legit bad bourbon. It's not a great bourbon, but it tastes like a legit yeah. bourbon now. Yeah, until the, until that tang comes around. And yeah, the parts, tang instantly ruins it for you. butt right there again. It's kind of, uh, the tang to me is kind of like when there's a uh, a pineapple that's gone bad, like a, the canned pineapple. Uh, it's got that acidic, you can tell instantly that's bad pineapple. Yeah. That's the tang that I'm getting. Yeah, I got bad, bad something. But the water did a ton for me. Yeah. Watered it down. <laughs> yeah, we did that. <laughs> uh, so 14 days in, I'm happy with this. Mm -hmm. You? Yeah. We're gonna come back in another 14 days for you. Maybe one week. Maybe, Maybe. we should do one we'll week. Do one week? I don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. You know what, Gene? Figure it out. We'll figure it out. You figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. Figured it out. You figured it out. Uh, so we'll come back with more episodes. Keep joining with us. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Um, if you've done this before, and if you haven't done this before. Um, is there anything that you suggest we do? Maybe you've done your own research and like, hey, you should be doing this. I don't know. I don't know. Figure uh, it out. Yeah. Uh, that's about it for me. I'm Charlie. And I'm Jean. And I hope you're just as thirsty as we are.